beautiful Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading, it may not resonate for everybody, so please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, I'm running a competition for one lucky subscriber to win a personal reading. I'll let you know how to win that right at the end, as some people are here for the messages only and some people are here for both. I don't like to waste anybody's time. So let's get straight to it, my beautiful Taurus. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurus? What do they need to know regarding their twin flame journey? Oh, they're just um, indicating someone uh, perhaps having a bath <laughs> as you're listening to this reading, if that's you. Uh, it smells like um, you're putting some sort of, uh, well, they're just giving me radox. This looks like, yeah, it smells like some sort of, um, if that's you, there's something in this message for you. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Uh, if it does not resonate for you, please don't think that this is not your message. Uh, it just means that they want the person it does connect to to pay close attention to the reading as their attention may have wavered. Uh, we have Ice Queen and we have Ice King. Wow, Taurus, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, we just got a similar energy here, um, which is a stalemate kind of energy. So we got two people not talking to each other. Now, male or female, uh, this is not gender specific. It's about the energy, not the gender. Uh, but there's an energy here of um, two people who've gone cold or, um, you know, they're, they're stubborn energy here. Okay, uncertainty um, as to how the other person feels, but it looks like barriers are up, and uh, we got a we got a match, that's for sure. Uh, but both people have gone very cold, and um, you may be dealing with uh, Gemini or uh, Libra energy as well as Scorpio. And they've asked me to go again, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Guardian Angels. We have travel. There is spiritual ascension here, so they, they are indicating that you and this person are in the separation phase. We've also, wow, they want one more. That's interesting. They never normally ask me to go again. Uh, yeah, we got uh, travel, so that indicates, you know, spiritual ascension here in pursuit of happiness, uh, heading towards the sun, a warmer kind of climate, okay, that is currently being experienced between these two. Um, now... This could also be that you're trying to uh, book some sort of vacation or ha holiday there, Taurus. But whenever I get this card, I get an energy of um, looking at what it is that you truly want in love and spiritually ascending to that place so that you find happiness. Uh, we've also got Wallflower. So perhaps you always feel like this person has made you a choice, Taurus, and never actually uh, chosen you um, in terms of love. Uh, feeling pretty fed up there of the weight. Um, it's almost like you are feeling that everybody else is getting on with life and getting happy, loving relationships. And you're sitting there wondering, are you waiting for a twin flame? Is it really your twin flame? Should you even be contemplating this person as someone to love? Because um, it just seems to always be stagnant. Okay. Um, now also we've got money. So I feel like definitely you've buried your head in your career because uh, of this sort of stalemate energy with this person. But I feel like this person may have chosen career over union, over love there. Uh, this person, see, I'm just getting an energy that this person is very ambitious, Taurus. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurus? What do they need to know? They're just giving me the name Lisa. So either your name is Lisa or the person you were dealing with was called Lisa. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Ooh. Um, mm, they, sorry, I, 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 that was my fault. I just obviously dropped all the cards. They're giving me this horrible feeling uh, of someone really hurting their toe. Okay, and I don't feel like it's... Oh, I need to stop that energy, please. Thank you. Um, they're just... Yeah, it feels like it's uh, quite a... It, it, it's not a very nice wound on the on the toe okay uh so i'm just going to leave that there because i really don't want to address that energy so it really made me freak out a little bit i'm so sorry um because i get the feeling of it as well and it makes me go all queasy i don't like i mean nobody likes blood and gore and stuff like that but uh so if that's you who's really wounded your toe um or toes because but i only saw, saw one which is the big one um then there's something in this message for you okay again that's not going to speak to everybody but we got love yourself first. 
definitely getting similar cards to Scorpio. So if you're dealing with the Scor Scorpio, there's similar energy here for this twin flame uh, reading, my beautiful Taurus. What else do uh, they need to know regarding their twin flame journey? Soulmate. Okay, this person knows that you are the one Taurus. Now, there's no twin flame card in this um, deck. Um, as you can see at the bottom there, it says, yes, this is your soulmate. So uh, they're indicating here that this person knows that you are the one and you know that they are the one also. Uh, they've asked me to go one more, so I will. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Okay. Um, it is safe for you to love. Okay, and it says here, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Now, this person you're dealing with, um, as you can see, we've got a, a masculine figure here. Doesn't have to be, but I'm just describing the card. Um, this wearing armor, someone who's really protected themselves against their feelings. They don't let anyone in, and equally, they don't really let much out either. Uh, this person's carrying a heavy weight with them. Also, the sword is pointed down. Communication skills not very good when it comes to showing or saying how they feel um, and they're indicating here that you may be thinking about leaving this connection um, moving on that maybe your guides were protecting you against this connection because this person never seems to um, spiritually ascend there now interesting they just said whales whales so either we're dealing with the country here or whether um, maybe your name is whales your surname uh, could also be whales as in the ones in the sea um, please take it as it resonates because they just said whales so I'm not sure I mean it could be whales as in crying as well so um, I mean maybe you're looking at a whale or if whales is in any way relevant to your situation uh, please take it as it resonates it's not going to resonate for everybody uh, but they're just um, they just uh, gave me that if they give me anything more on that then uh, they're just saying awakening now, awakening, awakening. So uh, maybe this person is becoming spiritually a, a, a aware. Yeah, look at that. Uh, we'll go one more. You got the justice card there and you got the lover's card. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful for the messages so far. The Wheel of Fortune. So this is going to turn in your favor. This is a huge change within uh, your relationship with this person for the better. The Justice card indicates um, this person wants to find a solution. They want to make it right. Now, Taurus, this is your energy as well. This is your protagonist energy. You want the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, okay? You want something that is fair. You want love that is equal, balanced, uh, reciprocal, someone who meets you halfway. Now, you may have felt like this person was... Uh, unkind or unfair to you in the past and you just want what is right Taurus an apology or um, this I just feel rather than even an apology Taurus I'm just getting I just want the truth now it is not like you ever Taurus to go backwards on something if you if you've decided to move forwards you rarely go backwards okay um, but there's an energy here um, that you're making a choice you're weighing this situation up I feel like you're looking at what's happened, whether you get a, a proper conversation with this person and try and find a solution for the benefit of both of you. I feel like whatever your decision is in this moment, um, almost like a make or break, I feel like it will um, determine your, your, your future with this person. I feel like there's an honest conversation coming your way for sure after a period of stalemate energy where nobody is talking, okay? Now, the lover's card indicates choice. But what I'm getting from this is, um, now you could have been dealing with, as I said earlier, a Libra, Gemini energy. And that's the same energy that's coming up here. Justice card is the Libra energy. And as you can see, it is number uh, eight in this deck. Normally it's number 11. So number eight is the truth for self, you know, seeing things as they truly are for you and weighing things up as well um, for yourself. But the lover's card, I'm really getting this energy of... Um, regret this person feels they've made some bad choices made a few wrong turns in life and th there's a lot of discord and disharmony in this person's um energy okay i feel like it's almost like they're looking at what you did there's a fairness about this person they're looking at what they feel you did and they're looking at, at their own actions as well and they're trying to weigh up things and see where take accountability as to where they went wrong with this relationship Okay, they're not blaming you. I don't feel blame. Uh, but what I do feel is that this person is really looking at what they their side of the street as well as yours. And I feel like they're trying to be um, 
I didn't feel like they, they're coming back towards you. They're trying to make their way back to make a connection with you. There's a lot of deep love here. This person knows that you're the soulmate. They know that you're twin flame. And uh, I feel like they want to turn it around. Uh, they may be like um, trying to manifest a new beginning with you um, and turn... Um, they're turning their visions into reality. I almost feel like magician kind of energy with this person. Um, they're really trying to focus on fate intervening to bring you back into their world. we got the Wheel of Fortune here. This is the unified position. So this, this indicates that there is a turning uh, point within your relationship. There is change, there is good karma, but the hand of fate, destiny, is actually going to intervene here um, for the greater good. Now, I feel like there's a lucky break here. Uh, it does require a risk or a gamble, because I feel like you and this person have to come out of your comfort zone, but I feel like it is for um, your highest good, and I feel like um, you both have the opportunity to have an honest conversation and turn this around and really declare your feelings for each other, okay? Now, I'm just going to go to uh, pull some cards on this energy. Sorry, the... can you please clarify uh, the king and queen of swords or the, the ice king and queen there? Can you please clarify the energy, the ice king and queen before we do a Celtic cross? We have the ace of emotions and we have the magician. So um, I did say that this person is a magician energy here. Uh, we got Ace of Emotions. There is a lot of love here. This person is going to come towards you. They want to melt the ice. They want to offer uh, their love towards you. Uh, this is divinely guided. Aces, you know, they often bring um, an intervention from the universe. They're divinely guided. Uh, this person wants to be with you for the long haul. Uh, very deeply connected to you, this person is, Taurus. Um, they have a lot of love. And they may have, I mean, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, uh, but I feel very much like, um, as you can see, this person just is you know, two little fishes there swimming together. This person just knows that you are the person, and I feel like they want to heal this. Um, and we got the magician there in the reverse. So they feel like there's unfilled potential in this relationship, and... Um, I also feel like this person's felt quite scattered without you, Taurus. Okay, um, this is Aries energy here as well, just to let you know. I feel, yeah, they're definitely feeling uneasy um, about this uh, separation. Um, but there's something here as well. I'll pull a quick card on it because I feel like there's ego or, oh, I hate to say the word arrogance, but that's the word they're giving me here. Um, I'm not, let me see. I, do, I don't really want to use the word that they're giving me. So if they can give me something else, that would be great. Spirit guides, going angels. I'm just going to clarify this energy one more. Thank you so much. Can you please clarify um, that magician in the reverse? Thank you so much. The world. Okay. Um, the world. Uh, so what they're indicating is that... Um, it's almost like their ego or their, um, they felt like they didn't have any lessons to learn, okay? Uh, they feel, they felt like, you know, they had everything that they needed um, and um, they didn't really want to learn the lesson, but they're completing the cycle now. They are learning and I feel like they're breaking down that ego, that wall. This person, I feel like this person's coming towards you um, to talk. I feel like they have come full circle. So that's why it's time for spiritual ascension, and that's why we got that travel card, okay? Um, this person will be making their way towards you, just to let you know. I mean, they probably won't be taking an airplane unless they're, like, really far away, um, but, uh, I mean, they may be. Uh, we got the world card there, so this person may be from a different um, sort of background than you or country from you there, um, but it looks like this person's coming on in to talk, okay? Now, I'm just going to... Uh, do the Celtic cross and see what is happening here. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. What is the heart of the matter for my beautiful Taurus? The heart of the matter. Oh, whoa. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Just to let you know, I'm reading, reading The Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed. You only read the uprights in this deck, apart from the challenge position. Uh, just to let you know. So, what is the heart of the matter? Four of Earth. Okay. This is this, the foundation. Taurus between you and this person. Uh, there is a strong foundation here. Um, there's something here about trusting in the divine order of the universe. Okay. Um, everything happens for a reason. And I feel like um, you may have been trying to stay stable within this situation. You've built a very strong, solid foundation for yourself, but you are thinking long-term security in terms of love. And you may feel like this person deep down that this person's meant for you. And that uh, if you can overcome the obstacles, um, which I feel was to love yourself fully in this moment. 
love yourself first. As you can see, there's a figure there who's uh, giving love there, but they're holding on to like um, something for stability. You can see the Cupid there is shooting an arrow. And as soon as they're hit by love, uh, they're overextending themselves. Okay, so they're off balance. This, uh, I feel like this is your energy, Taurus. You may have given a lot to this connection. And this person may have just received. They may have taken and taken. And, um, you know, until you were depleted and left empty. Um, but then I feel like this person is very guarded with their emotions and um, didn't meet you halfway. And they had a huge lesson to learn there. Um, but I feel like you're thinking about um, wanting a love that goes the distance and you may be questioning this relationship as to whether this person is the one but I feel like you will get a conversation from this person in April into May what is the challenge in this situation ten of fire it's very stressful okay too many burdens a lot of baggage in this relationship and as you can see I feel like the challenge here is you feel you feel like it's done uh, you may be thinking about burning the bridge to this one and just walking forward. Even though it's twin flame, um, I have to say as well, just before we go forward, if you're in a toxic relationship, Taurus, with someone who is uh, physically or mentally unkind or abusive, that is not twin flame journey. Okay, I just want to say that there. Uh, that's very unhealthy relationship. Uh, but what they're indicating here with this ten of fire, um, there's resistance here. Okay, and I feel like the challenge here is um, that... I feel like you're finally saying no to this connection and maybe that's why there's a stagnancy here. If you don't know what a twin flame journey is, please look it up before you listen to the reading just to save yourself some time. But I feel like in the separation period, I feel like you've been the, well, define your own role, whether you've been the runner or the chaser. As soon as the chaser stops and says, no, I'm not doing this anymore, the runner energetically feels that you've disconnected from the cord. Okay, and uh, they start, they, they come back towards you. They become the, the, the runner, sorry, the chaser. Okay, just to let you know. But I feel like there's a stay or go energy here, Taurus. You're not sure whether you should um, continue but um, or whether you should stop this uh, and, and just take a break from this completely because it's very, very stressful. The challenge here that you know that this person is meant for you. They know, but it's, it's just really like heavy energy. Now, what is carrying you through this below you? Four of water. Four of water indicates, um, I really like this energy actually, but uh, it may not be uh, something that you enjoy in this moment. Uh, this is a feeling of unfulfillment, of apathy, um, and hoping for the universe to perhaps bring on in someone new. Uh, this person feels like you're the one that got away. Even though they did not uh, make this work in the way that you had hoped, um, but the four of water indicates that there is a surprise coming for you. The universe is uh, sort of intervening in order to bring you an, uh, a connection that is emotionally fulfilling. Now, they really want me to show you the four of cups that's in this deck. They they keep doing this. Can you please guide me where this four of cups is? Thank you so much. Um, so we have, uh, as you can see, you're fed up with how things have been going emotionally, Taurus. Uh, this figure is under the tree and just feeling like apathy. Nothing's going right here. Um, and the relationships are never, the relationship with this person has not been fulfilling so far. Uh, the universe intervenes. There's a, a cloud there that's like a storm cloud, but out of that storm cloud comes a cup that is more fulfilling. So they're indicating here that there is change and there is a sort of um, an opportunity to um, take a new direction with this um, this relationship should you want to and I feel like that's what you are maybe trying to manifest but there's moments of you thinking well this is done I'm looking for something that is more fulfilling something that is new so you may be having a bit of an inner battle because you're at a current uh, stalemate with your twin flame journey so far what is behind you king of water okay emotional support um, someone, uh, maybe you and this person had a conversation that was, uh, you know, you're trying to be non-judgmental. Uh, this is Scorpionic energy. Again, male or female, not a gender-specific reading, but it's about the energy. And I feel like um, you've been very tolerant with this person, okay? I feel like you get them intuitively. They are, you know, your twin flame after all. It's a mirrored energy. I feel like you tried to understand this person. You tried so hard. Okay, I feel like you've listened to this person, you've un tried to understand from all angles. I feel like you've always tried to be the peacekeeper, the mediator. You're trying to be a good listener to this person, but you're starting to think, what about me? When are my needs going to be met in this relationship? Okay, so I feel very much like also um, there was love there. 
but it, it may have turned to kind of ice. This is a very loving energy, very supportive energy, but you may have gone cold, um, Taurus, because this person, you know, gave you no other choice. Um, you got burnt, I feel. You're feeling um, that it hurt. So I feel like it's very stressful. So you've taken yourself out of the game by going silent or trying to disconnect from this connection. Thank you so much for it, guys, great angels. What is above my beautiful Taurus? What do they need to know? Page of air, definitely something in the Scorpio reading for you, okay? Um, page of air is, um, this person's checking you out, okay? Either online, your social media, or asking around, because the page of air is the page of swords, Aquarius energy there. They're very curious about you. So they're either asking, acquaintances or common you know group friends about you trying to find out as much as they can about you um also i feel like this person thinks that you're you've got someone else i feel like they think you you're, you're the one who's got away okay also pay close attention to your reading when you get synchronicities because when you get a wheel of fortune uh destiny meets synchronicity so you start to see double numbers and things like that you've got two fours already in your reading uh, the page of air indicates this person's coming to talk okay uh, this is a truthful conversation this person may be a little bit younger than you or you're a little bit younger than them uh, i feel like it's the other way around though um, this person is trying to release a lot of obstacles in their way um, and i feel like this person is going to they want to investigate or understand your relationship a little bit deeper Taurus, that's the energy that I'm getting. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. It's almost like they know that you're the soulmate or they know that there's something different about you and them that they cannot put their finger on. And I feel like they're researching it. They're trying to find out what is twin flame? What is soulmate? What does it mean? Because I feel like this person is always thinking back to you, Taurus. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. What is in the near future for my beautiful Taurus? Whoa, I'm gonna jump right out the back there. We have two cards. We've got the hangman and we got the messenger of earth. So after a period of a little bit of waiting, Taurus, uh, in the near future, uh, you will get a message from this person. We got the messenger of earth there. So this indicates that this person, um, you know, uh, they want to lead with integrity. They want to come towards you and give you an honest uh, conversation that they um, can go the distance. This person wants to show you that they are reliable, um, but they realize that you've sacrificed a lot okay, for this relationship. Um, you have gained a new perspective on this person, so I feel when they come on in, you'll be able to gauge whether this person really means it or not. Of course, trust your intuition, but they really mean business. They wanna come in, they wanna talk, okay? Um, and I feel like they're no longer in that selfish energy where it's all about them. I feel like they've turned it around. So they've become a little bit more mature. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide uh, my beautiful Taurus? How are they feeling in the present moment? The advice they're giving them, they're giving to themselves. What is the advice Taurus is giving to themselves? We have the two of air. You're not sure. Stalemate energy. You and this person definitely had a stalemate. Neither of you conforming uh, to, to bend for the other. Now, I totally get it. Stubborn energy, especially if we've got two people who are wounded. They may have hurt you a lot, Taurus. So why would you want to reach out and vice versa? Um, but as you can see, a decision needs to be made. Spirit's indicating that you may be at a bit of a, a fork in the road where you're you're deciding that it's time to compromise. Either walk away from this union forever or try and make it work. Um, there is definitely a change coming that is positive in this union, but I feel like you're conflicted because so much has happened between this person. You would love it if they showed you all the love that they have in the world for you, Taurus, but I feel like this person's working through a lot of things um, and... You've waited a long time and sacrificed a lot, so you may feel like it's time to move forward. But just as, when, just as soon as you do start to move forward and think about long-term security and go for a relationship elsewhere, being trying to call in a new relationship, they come on in to talk. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. What is the environment for my beautiful uh, Taurus? What do they need to know? Uh, they just give me the name Timothy. So either your name is Timothy or... Um, they, their name is Timothy. Please take it as it resonates. Uh, it's not going to resonate for everyone. They just want to um, sort of connect to that person to bring them back into the reading if their attention has um, wavered. Now, how, how would you like to receive? Okay, interesting. Uh, they want that one there. I'm trying not to look at the cards. That one there. Is there another one? No, thank you so much. I like to move. Um, I, I look in the water for uh, the images that they give me. We have the lovers. Okay. So this is the environment 
Um, sorry, they just, I'm just going to go get, check the camera because it just buzzed. So I'm just going to check that one moment, please. Oh no, it's still going. Just wanted to check there because I heard a buzz, but it doesn't even seem to be um, my camera. Anyway, moving swiftly on, we've got the lover's card. So this is the environment. This person knows that you're the soulmate, but there is a choice here. Taurus, I feel like this is your choice. I feel like the external circumstances indicates, you know, a lot has gone on here. You and this person have separated for uh, a certain period of time. Yes, there's been regrets, perhaps on both sides, perhaps not. But there, this person sabotaged the connection in some way. And you may be trying to find um, solace within that. And um, there's potential for unification here and harmony in this relationship. But you may be, again, sort of opening yourself up to the communication, but first of all, examining your priorities, asking yourself, do you really want this? Can this person really hurt me again? Uh, you know, it's almost like you're examining your motives and your values when contemplating which path to take with this card. Okay, now what is the, uh, they want these two in this uh, position. We have the Six of Water. Okay, Six of Water is a reunion card. So this is a hope and a fear, reunion. Um, this is uh, maybe even looking back at the past with rose tinted glasses, asking yourself, have you been so involved in this relationship and wanting it so badly that when it's presented to its, it presents itself to you, is this really what you want? Okay, interesting energy that that's coming through because we've got the world card as well, which indicates you asking, has this person learned the lesson? Have we both learned the lesson? Will we repeat the same mistakes as the past? Or should we move forward? I feel like you're very, I feel like you both have the ability to sort of heal this and sort of take it to the next level and unlock your happiness with each other. Because I feel like both of you are learning the lessons here, but the, the world card signals a, an ending, bringing a new beginning. So either it is the, um, an option to end this and move forward without each other or heal it uh, with that six of water and reunite, that is your call. Um, we all have free will, but they are indicating that there is a hope and a fear there. So maybe that's why you're conflicted with that two of swords. What is the outcome for this situation for my beautiful Taurus? How would you like to receive? I knew you want that one. Um, thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Uh, we have the seven of air and the six of earth. Interesting. They have asked me to go one more. Uh, so I will do once I've finished uh, explaining these cards. Six of Earth. Now this is wonderful. I love this card because it indicates an unexpected uh, intervention by the universe, a surprise. It indicates that there will be a balanced relationship here, something that is a strong investment. This person will meet you halfway. Spirit is intervening in order to bring you both together with this card. But there's a seven of air here. This is the energy here of non-conformity, living life on your own terms and being very independent, Taurus. So you may be asking yourself the question, do you want to be with this person now or do you want to go solo? I feel very much like you're not a people pleaser. So, and I don't feel like you would ever sort of take direction from this twin flame that you're dealing with, but I feel like this person has to prove themselves if they did anything wrong there for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Guardian Angels. Also, there's an energy here, Taurus, where there could be some people, um, either friends, family, who uh, would encourage you not to be with this person. I feel like um, if you and this uh, twin flame have a reciprocal, balanced, loving relationship, I feel like you don't give two hoots what other people think. Okay, so I also feel that energy from that card. Uh, this is the solution, the outcome. The star is healing. We have the five of air and we have the five of earth. More synchronicities there. Really interesting because we got a six of water, a six of earth, uh, another six there for the lovers. We've got two fours, uh, we got two fives. Um, but this indicates here, look, five of earth indicates an alternative uh, sort of uh, connection with this person. Um, it's almost like there's tension here. The five of air indicates, yeah, there's tension, there's conflict, but do you seek an alternative uh, love there? Or do you uh, reinvest um, your love into this connection? Because once, as you can see, there's four pentacles on one side and there's only one pentacle on the other side. So you may feel like this person did not invest fully. Um, even though you got a six of earth there, I feel like this is a memory. You know, the fear here is you, you, you know what this person was like in the past. Um, but the star card indicates healing. 
So you and this person can heal this relationship. There is a renewal of hope, serenity, clarity. There's a new version of yourself, Taurus. This person wouldn't dare do the same thing to this new version of you that is healthy, that is um, brimming with potential and possibility in love. I feel like you got options coming on in. But if you want to heal this relationship with your twin flame, you can, okay? Um, but I feel there's a lot to overcome here. You know, fives are the number of obstacles. So you and this person have a lot to talk about uh, still. Um, but I feel like you and this person being in union is closer than you've ever been before, okay? I feel like this person's coming on in to um, give you the love that you finally deserve. I'm just going to pull a few more cards on that energy just to clarify. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Anything further for my beautiful Taurus? What do they need to know before we move forward? How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, they are indicating with the eight of emotions in the reverse. Indicates this person cannot walk away from you. Okay, They're returning to you. They always want to return to you. And they're starting to ask themselves why they keep wanting to return to you, Taurus. Because that's where they're happy. That's where they, their, their, love, their love flows straight to you. You are their happy space. Okay, the Sun card indicates this can be a, a, a successful union that is full of positivity and um, an auspicious one full of joy. Um, I feel like the ego is being broken down here also and barriers are being broken down. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of illumination. You got the star and the sun there. I feel like you can heal this and it will be a beautiful relationship. Um, but with the Eight of Cups, and please look this up, the Eight of Cups indicates someone fully learning, okay? They've learned from their past mistakes. They're returning to you because there's love. They want to come home and they feel like you are home, okay, Taurus? I will leave it there. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. I'm just gonna get you any advice before we close. Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurus? Uh, they're showing me Olympic rings. I'm not sure what that's about. Olympics, Olympic rings. Um, I'm not really sure, so please take it as it resonates. Um, maybe your person competed in the Olympics, or maybe you, you met at the Olympics, or you work with someone to the Olympics. It's not gonna resonate to everybody. Um, I know there's five rings there. I mean, anyway, please take it as it resonates. If it does not resonate, it does not mean it's not your reading. It just means they want someone to pay close attention to the reading. We got perception. Okay, which is about understanding the human psyche when you've got uh, like drama like that. It's almost like a reflection of uh, yourselves at each other, the happiness plus the trauma and understanding it from both sides. Okay, that allows you to build two solid pillars um, when both of you understand it from both sides. Uh, also, we got awakening. Now, I think it was this reading. Uh, Taurus right at the beginning where they gave me the word awakening if it wasn't it was definitely the Scorpio reading so uh, definitely something in the Scorpio reading if that's um, the case but I feel like it was in this reading anyway uh, so we definitely got an awakening here between you and this person they know that you're the one and they're coming back on in to talk okay uh, anything final before we close this reading for my beautiful Taurus um, advice from spirit from the wisdom of the Oracle what do they need to know I'm truly grateful for the messages so far we have Round and round, but it is in the reverse. So perhaps not round and round anymore, perhaps straight forward and moving uh, towards the future. Uh, it is number 25. When you reduce it, it is seven. Two plus five is seven. So um, that is a chariot card. Let's see what it says in the book here. 25. And you get the protection message. Are you refusing to see your own personal responsibility for repeating lessons you don't need to relearn? You have to surrender now to the fact that you are a common denominator in all of these repeat performances. Be happy for this is a wonderful spot to be in. You can now see the cycles that you wish to exit. Once you figure out that you have the power to stop going round and round, you possess the key to your freedom. Be good to yourself. It is not about blame, but about accountability. You can have the abundant life filled with love and prosperity that spirit so wants for you. Okay, please don't shoot the messenger, Taurus. I'm just giving you the message there. Um, now this can apply to both you and your twin flame, of course, but it is about learning lessons and that as soon as you learn that lesson with that will card, it indicates 
you've come full circle. You've come as far as you can within the lesson and it's now satisfied that you can move forward. So uh, it is about accountability. I'm just going to give you a trinket before we close. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurus? Oh, they don't want to let go of that, whatever that is. Oh, I'm loving that. So we have um, musical notes. Now, this is about the soul song, but also, uh, sorry, there's a trinket falling there. Uh, it's also about um, raising vibrations and frequency, ascending, okay? And they want this on the sun card, so that indicates uh, that there is a more happy, joyful time um, coming towards you. We also have the four-leaf clover, okay? That's serendipity, being in the right place, right time, fate and destiny intervening in this situation uh, for you both to uh, have a wonderful relationship. Um, so I feel very much like this is going to be an exciting time for you. They want it on the Six of Water, believe it or not, <laughs> which is reunion, okay? And we also have the peace sign right there as well. Peace, serenity will be yours in this relationship. There is a conversation coming on in there for you with this person. Um, you can make it. Both of you are going to have an honest conversation. It looks like they, they're leading with integrity. They want, to on, they want to offer you love that is solid. They want to invest in this connection. Where would you like this? Oh, they want it on the lover's card. Which one? This one. Okay. There is peace and harmony in this loving relationship. Okay. I will leave it there, my beautiful Taurus. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. That lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me. Also, if you would um, like to win a personal reading, sorry, they're just interrupting me. They're just giving me uh, an energy of someone blowing their nose. If that's you, there's something in this message for you. Uh, it's not going to resonate for everybody, of course. But if that's you, they're indicating there's something in this. Okay, I will leave that there. Uh, if you want to win a personal reading, all you have to do is take 10 minutes out of your day to visualize what it is you truly desire, whether that's a new job or the love of your life. Really see it like you have it, okay? Uh, drop it in the comments box below if you wish to. Share it with the community. But if you do not wish to, just put the word love and I will gravitate towards one lucky subscriber. I'll choose that winner on the 12th of April, okay? That is when the new moon is in Aries. Very important time for cultivating your vision. Thank you so much, my beautiful Taurus. Love and light.